good, he hurt. When he smiled, he hurt, okay? okay. See, you make him forget about your right hand if you're popping the jab. You're popping. Right, even, right. even just the... Then you're still no. with the right hand, okay? You're looking good, baby. Okay. You you will, we will win this round, no question about it. No question about it. Now, I told you before, you know, in the first, after the first and second round, he starts slowing down. This is the football season. Once again, they're getting tangled up in each other. A little foul play by Hernandez with the elbow a little bit. Every trick. Every yeah. trick. And in these fights, it makes a difference. Sandy Sadlin, Willie Pep. Good left hook to the body for Gennaro Hernandez to begin the third round. In the second round, Hernandez was outclassed. Mayweather landing 24 of 40 punches by CompuBox numbers. Hernandez only 7 of 33. Mayweather landed 10 of 15 jabs by CompuBox numbers in the second round. So far, young Mayweather is simply beating Hernandez to the punch. And he, he allows Mayweather to get on his feet. He's flat-footed here. Well, you don't want a fast fighter to do that. The speed plus being flat-footed, they can hurt you. You want to keep him on his toes so that he's guessing about if and then he's going to land a shot. That's what you do, make him move. Our Spanish interpreter, Ray Torres, and you'll see him on camera later tonight, told us that between rounds, Gennaro Hernandez's corner told the fighter, you've lost both of the first two rounds. Yeah. Left hook upstairs by Gennaro Hernandez. And that's the kind of fight he's got to fight I now. I agree. He just can't sit back stop, and wait stop, for this stop, kid stop. to uh, Good job, guys. open up. Stay on him. Keep some shots going at all times. You don't often get an honest count from your own corner, but in this case, it is. Mayweather's left foot on the outside, switches it to the left side again. A good left hook. Gennaro Hernandez has been trained throughout his career by his brother Rudy. And the two of them make no secret of the fact that they often disagree. Mayweather's corner told him to keep that left hand out there. They even allowed Diaz to speak a little bit in the corner. Then he won't see the right hand. Keep that left jab going. Well, Miguel Diaz, functioning as a cut man tonight for the Mayweathers, is one of the rising training talents in the sport. There's a big one, too, by Floyd, who landed a left hook and a right cross. And now this guy's really fighting with his eyes, Mayweather. Keeps his left foot on the outside when he's not busy, so did this guy throw a left hook? He just steps a little bit to, the, to his right. Hard right, right hand to the body by Gennaro. Mayweather's no longer backing up at all. He's the aggressor. One big difference in the bout so far, Floyd has been able to land combinations. When Hernandez lands, it's one punch at a time. Floyd is so natural. <laughs> Sometimes the worst thing a natural fighter can have is a trainer. <laughs> kind of let him go, even in the corner. Don't tell them too much. There goes the left hook to the body by Floyd. Well, and of course, the whole thing of being trained by your father, which is the case for Floyd now, we've seen it so often down through the history of the sport. Two-edged sword. Unique communication between the fighter and the trainer, that's good. But extra pressure for the fighter to please his key family member, his father, that can be bad. <laughs> well said. Coming December 8, HBO Sports presents the next edition of Sports of the 20th Century, Sugar Ray Robinson, The Bright Lights and Dark Shadows of a Champion, a documentary which traces the triumphs and tragedies of the boxer most experts called the greatest pound for pound of all time. Outside the ring, Robinson was a fearless and flashy showman, but his final days were marked by sickness and poverty. Sugar Ray Robinson, The Bright Lights and Dark Shadows of a Champion, coming December 8, only on HBO. How well did you know Ray Robinson, George? You know, a well, nice friend he, he right. started to be in the latter part of his career. We would meet up, kiss, up. and exchange baby kisses. I had some babies that he liked. He would always give me good advice. He said, plan your work, work your plan. Generous man, Ray Robinson. Hernandez said before the fight, as we reported, that he was concerned about whether he would get the close rounds fighting in Mayweather's hometown. So far, the rounds have not been close. Mayweather is winning them all in the view of most of us. One-sidedly, too. 
Punch stat numbers coming into the bout indicated that Gennaro Hernandez had thrown and landed his jab more frequently in previous bouts than had Floyd Mayweather. So what happens tonight? Hernandez has landed four of 26 jabs through three rounds. Mayweather, 33 of 58. It's a wipeout. Mayweather's doing a fine job, but trying to seek a knockout so early may not be a good idea. Doing a lot of fainting, making the other guy flinch, and then he gives him something afterwards. Go grab his head. Nothing low. Nothing low. Hernandez kind of picking and scratching here and trying to find some kind of attack that will bother young Mayweather. Now Hernandez begins to land combinations by throwing punches from odder, more awkward angles. But Mayweather comes right up the middle with an assault. Mayweather is getting bolder. He probably doesn't feel that Hernandez can hurt him. He's willing to do more exchanging and stay closer to him. Yeah, he's working that pocket now. Whenever there's a miss, Mayweather seems to get a little closer. Well, and Floyd told us yesterday that at some point, Gennaro would widen his hands looking to connect, and he'd have an opportunity right up the middle. He saw it perfectly, didn't he, and he's doing a lot of it with his hands, and he's doing it with his eyes, watching everything he's doing. Hernandez has a habit as the rounds go by of eventually backing up and putting his back against the ropes. Floyd Mayweather is hoping he'll do that because he believes he can get to Gennaro's body when Gennaro squares up off the ropes. Now, knowing that uh, Mayweather is a good boxer, you don't want to throw away everything. Fights are won sometime in the eighth, ninth round. So you, you throw it all in the first two, four, five or six rounds, you won't have anything left. What Hernandez is hoping for now is to catch the younger fighter leaning in. Have him chase him, lean in, and hope he can land something that changes the complexion of the fight. Because he has failed as yet to instill any doubt as the left jab. Way way well. Yeah, not just any left jab. I mean, that left jab is backing Gennaro up a step when Floyd lands it. It's so natural, he's able to stop, start all over. That's a hard task in boxing. You see a shot, change your mind, and get away. That's why I say he's the best natural fighter around, because he... Another good combination for Floyd Mayweather. Ends round four. And Gennaro Hernandez is having trouble finding a clue in there against the ultra-talented young challenger. It's nothing. It's, it's a small cut. It's not too much. You, you move it too much to the right. You need to move to the left a little bit. When he, when he comes at you, stick your hand out. You better stick that jab. And you, your punches got to be strong. You got to go throw out there with feelings. Hit him in the... Push him with some back there. There we go. Push him back there, my lord. Yeah, don't worry. Right here. A lot here. Okay, yeah. Just stay there. Okay, yeah. Just stay there. Five begins. Harold Letterman, how'd you score the first four? Jim, I got a 4 to nothing, 40 to 36, 40 aggressive Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I gotta tell you one quick story. Jose Solomon, a WBC president, likes all his officials to wear that patch. Uh, I mean, all his fighters, whether he's a challenger or a champion. Remember, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, Junior Jones, Zelko Maver Maverick, all wore the WBC patch. The only one that doesn't wear it is Oscar De La Hoya because he, he sold his abdomen, uh, the advertisers on his trucks. In any case, so far, Floyd Mayweather well, it's certainly the aggressive, winning the first four rounds easily on clean punching and aggressiveness. Now, Hernandez moves to the left side of a Floyd Mayweather and nothing happens. That's what you want to do. Make him exercise that side of his body that he doesn't train. And that left side sometimes can be a weak side because you don't train in the gym to throw punches from that angle. It'll burn you out. Now he decided to stop. Oh, what a vicious uppercut by Floyd Mayweather. And Hernandez has backed up against the ropes just as Floyd told us he would. And Floyd going to work. Hernandez better get his back off the ropes in a hurry. Well, he's trying to say, does this guy inexperienced? I'm going to let him throw a lot of shots. 
and I'm going to get him. Well, nothing else has worked so far, George. So this may be an act of desperation. But now Mayweather should step around the side. Well, don't just stand in front of him. Do the same thing, but from the side. Make him turn and face you from either the 